Well, hello from Scotland and uh, said in my previous video, which was a wild camp, that I was coming up to Scotland. So here we are and we're at, if Rosie just turns the camera, Rue Lighthouse. So uh, thanks to Rose for letting me have hands free. So Rue Lighthouse, about a mile um, west of Ullapool. So we're quite up on the northwest coast of Scotland. And if we look across that way, we're out, we're out into the uh, Hebrides. Uh, so Lewis and the, the Stornoway Ferry comes out here. So, but what a fantastic evening. Um, staying in a cottage about 25 minutes from here and it was really, really cloudy, a bit rainy and I wasn't going to come. And then looked at the weather forecast, uh, looked out the window and we thought, sod it let's go for it so we came and it's glorious the sun's about another 45 minutes before the sun hits us the horizon so going to take some uh images of these rocks so if rosie turns out so, so amazing rock formations here obviously with the, the coast uh, and then the lighthouse is a focal point and then across now i, I don't know sorry turn back. <laughs> i don't know this area very well it's the first time i've spent any time up. i've been passed through before but i've never kind of based myself here so I know some of the mountains, but I don't know them all. Um, so I, don't, I, I think that one's Meal Dubard, something like that. Um, but what I'm going to do, if, if I take that off Rose for a sec, show you my composition. I'm, uh, I'm working with the sea, lighthouses over here, and then um, I'll, I'll, I'll check the name of this uh, mountain and put the details in the final film. But uh, uh, you can see, just while the sun is over to my right. So we get some really nice light on these rocks. So a bit overexposed at the moment because I'm just trying to give you the, the view. So I'm going to take a reading on the lighthouse because it's, it's probably the brightest part of the image. And I'm going to underexpose a little bit. So I'm on F16, I'm focused on the lighthouse. I'm just going to check my focus. So go to manual focus, just check. Yeah, focused on the lighthouse. So back onto man sorry I was on auto focus so I've got my polarizer in just to darken the uh, the blue in the sky a bit and I quite like that composition so I'm gonna work through that a little bit thanks Rose gonna work through those images a little bit while I've still got the Sun up uh, maybe look at a couple of different rock formations getting the image that way and then depending on what the clouds and the weather do maybe when the sun's gone down over the horizon go on the other side of the lighthouse looking that way at the moment if i was over the other side of the lighthouse i'd just be looking right into the sun so here for now then the other side of the lighthouse a bit later probably and got rosie with me <laughs> and martin and blay <laughs> so i'm normally by myself i've moved a little bit up so previous bit i spoke to you was just down on these rocks here but uh I said I'd kind of move along a bit and I've just come up a bit higher because I like the um, the angle looking across these rocks. So there's lovely light falling on the rocks. So I want to make the most of that. Um, and I've, uh, I've decided on a kind of a, a, a portrait. Uh, so I'll show you the setup. Um, I'm going portrait with the lighthouse here. Um, and I've got the rocks um, kind of moving in from the bottom corner sweeping around towards the lighthouse so the lighthouse is right on my rule of thirds as is the kind of far side of the lock uh, so hopefully what I have is kind of that sweep you can you can hopefully see in fact I'll show you here um, if, if you look hopefully in the final image what you'll see there's a sweep that comes around here and then leads around those rocks over there so you get a curve coming around and you've got the lighthouse on the rule of third so it makes a nice composition kind of as a semicircle with then the upright of um of the lighthouse so i'm focused on the lighthouse i'm taking an exposure reading up off the sky um, because although the sky is quite bright there's lovely light on the rocks as well so um i'm on f16 and it's given me an exposure of uh eighth of a second um which will probably render quite a nice amount of detail. I'm just going to check that. 
yeah so if i look there's quite a, a quite a nice color um in the rocks because the, the sun is still high enough above the horizon so that's 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 nice it's a nice kind of composition uh hopefully uh, i might try a uh sorry i might try a uh just one uh, panorama of kind of two images just to get a bit of the seeing but uh yeah i'm uh, i'm really enjoying this so i'm not sure about rosie <laughs> so anyway gonna carry on see if i can get down there see if rosie will go down there for me and no no <laughs> So he went, watch out for this. So I just ran. Into this. <laughs> so I jumped into this bike. <laughs> There's a little interlude of madness. Is this your video? <laughs> <laughs> they wonder why I usually do this by myself. <laughs> Could you just start again, please? I wasn't ready. <laughs> so I've moved away from the edge. Partly because I wanted a different composition, but partly because Rosie was worried about me falling in. So I've come up on top of the. I think this is limestone. So there's nice um, kind of line heading towards the, the lighthouse. So I'll show you the. So I've got this composition with the kind of you know, there's really nice lines heading down towards the lighthouse and towards the sea. So um, and it's still because the sun's still half an hour from going down. Um, I've got yeah, more like 25 minutes says by um, kind of above the uh, horizon so got some nice light there that's probably a bit dark so gonna go there and I might as an insurance measure just take a reading off the limestone although it's still quite bright so take that one I can always blend them together so you probably notice I've got the light off right on the rule of thirds uh, so I quite like that composition just just got the polarizer in at the moment so yes it's a nice n never been here before in my life so it's working well so far <laughs> got an audience oh there's a boat coming that'd be quite nice so <laughs> if the boat passes just right behind the lighthouse that's going to make a nice element from the composition so it's probably going to take a few minutes to get there so I'm not going to record that bit but check check out hopefully is an image with that boat in at some point I just spotted this uh, cotton grass and I thought it'd make a nice composition while they're messing about over there so the sun went behind momentarily went behind the clouds so gave me time to set up so I uh, bear with me a second still a little bit behind the clouds but I've got the obviously the cotton grass in the foreground here uh, and the lighthouse just there and what I'm hoping is a relatively so I'm exposing for the sky over there so this will be quite dark but hopefully what I get is the, the brightness of the, the cotton grass picking up so let's have a look at that see how there should be some movement in the air so there's this nice movement in the cotton grass I think that's quite nice if if I'm going to get the sun just to come out from behind the cloud a little bit more. Hopefully it picks up on that grass. Just gives me a nice exposure, nice bit of movement on the grass. Just, just, just I stood up talking with the kids. Um, I say kids, two of them were 18. So, um, uh, and saw the grass and thought I'd come over and, and have a look. And it uh, seems to be working out. I've been... The sun's just behind it. There's a little bit band of cloud, but I'm going to persevere with that for a few minutes. Not much time before the sun's down. So uh, now the kids are throwing stuff at me. <laughs> I hate them. I've come to the other side of the lighthouse, as you can see, just because the sun is almost down, and there's a nice pool here providing some reflection. But there's also some lovely clouds uh, with some nice light. Uh, so I'm just building on top of the mountain there. So what I'm trying to do uh, is starting here with the reflection. So I don't think you can see that's the reflection here. Uh, let's do a panorama. So uh, I'm taking one there, spinning it 
one there and then one there and hopefully that turns into a nice shot and I'm on f16 um, just the polarizer in kind of nothing other than that um, but quite a nice kind of sweep of that bay uh, but it's lovely lovely beautiful cloud sun is still five minutes away so <laughs> Rosie's been really helpful following me around with my stuff. I'm going to go, I think, over there and shoot that way. So as the sun's gone down, I'll get the clouds behind the lighthouse. So, sorry, Rose. Got a, although, you can stay there if you like. <laughs> so, we're going to walk over there. Just the last little slither of the sun over the island. I think that's Isle Martin, <laughs> which is interesting because my son's called Martin. <laughs> just the last little bit, just going, just going, going. But absolutely amazing sunset just massive um, per perfect circle of the sun just above the, the uh, horizon clear as anything just so so clear uh, and now we've got these clouds so what I'm hoping for now as obviously I've, I've come to where I said I was going to be hoping for a bit of kind of post sunset color in those clouds uh, I won't get any definition in the foreground clearly because it's it, it's too dark but get a, some of that orange pinks purples it's just it's just lovely absolutely lovely so uh it's gone a little bit cold now hasn't it rose <laughs> so i'm going to take a few of those and then uh that'll be it so i'll post them um uh i might even do a panorama um just swing across that way but uh, I'll post them. But that'll be, uh, probably by the time I've done that, it'll be too dark to talk to you. So I'll say, hope you enjoyed this trip. And uh, up to Rue, it's literally, um, all the pools about a mile that way. So if you're up in this neck of woods, uh, I'd recommend it. So uh, if you come, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.